Hello, my friends. Nice to meet you again. Today, let's check which one is bigger. Between 2022 to the 2022nd power. And the square of factorial of 2022. Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. Which is bigger? Let's first take a look at what exactly these two numbers are. 2022 to the 2022nd power is 2022 multiplied by 2022 and multiplied by 2022 and multiplied by 2022 for a total of 2022 times. The factorial of 2022 is 2022 multiplied by 2021 multiplied by 2020 multiplied by 2019 all the way till multiplied by 1, which also has 2022 factors. However, what we want is not the factorial of 2022 itself, but its square, so we have to multiply them for another round. Of course, in the second round, we can do it in the reversed way, so we write them down from 1 to 2022. In this way, we can compare those two big numbers by comparing every pair of factors. Except for the first and last pair where the left and right sides are equal. The left side is always smaller than the right side in the comparison of any other pair. Therefore, 2022 to the 2022nd power is smaller than the square of factorial of 2022. Now let's randomly select one pair of the factors and get a little deeper insight into why the left side is always smaller than the right. The comparison between 2022 and 2021 times 2 can actually be seen as a comparison between 2022 times 1 and 2021 times 2. We express their values in a more general form, which is the product of n times m, where the summation of n plus m is a constant. What is n times m equal to? It is equal to the square of their summation, minus the square of their difference, and then divided by 4. Because the square of their summation is a constant, the bigger the difference between these two quantities, the smaller their product is. By the way, think about a rectangle, which is rounded with a piece of rope. If only the length of the rope is fixed, meaning that the perimeter of the rectangle is a constant, the larger the difference in the side lengths, the smaller the area of the rectangle is. The reason is the same as here. Going back to our current example, the summation of n and m is fixed at 2023. On the left side, their difference is 2021. On the right side, their difference is 2019. So the left side is smaller. With this conclusion, we can actually do some comparisons in more general cases. For any natural number a, between a to the 8th power, and the square of factorial of a, which one is bigger? In this case, the summation of n plus m is fixed at a plus 1. It is not difficult to understand that there are only two cases, where a to the 8th power, and the square of factorial of a are equal to each other. The first case is that, a is equal to 1. In this case, on both left and right sides, both n and m can only be 1. The other case is that a is equal to 2. And now, either m equals to 1 and n equals to 2, or the other way around. Let's do the real calculation. When a is equal to 1, the left side is 1, and the right side is also 1. Equal. When a is equal to 2, the left side is 4, and the right side is also 4. Equal. When a is equal to 3, the left side is 27, but the right side becomes 36, so the right side is bigger. When a is equal to 4, the left side is 256, the right side is 576, and the right side is still bigger. When a is equal to 5, the left side is 3125 and the right side becomes 14400. Again. Everyone sees that although when a becomes bigger, a to the 8th power increases rapidly but the square of factorial of A increases even faster. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.